at CES 2007 and I'm demonstrating a Intel Core 2 Duo processor today. It's running a game called RoboBlitz and the cool thing about this game is that it has a physics engine that's running real time. So the character, the robot character you see here, all of his uh, positions, movements, as he moves around and interacts with the environment, the bouncing effect, all of that's calculated runtime with the, with the physics engine. And you can do that because there's an Intel Core 2 Duo inside. There's a higher amount of processing power afforded by that that allows you to have this kind of realism in a game. The other cool thing is that a game like this with this kind of quality and realism we used to be in the realm of the desktop, but now because of the Core 2 Duo you can have it on a laptop. And recognizing the fact that most people when they work on a laptop, you know, they're using they're usually running it on a battery. Intel has made the Core 2 Duo so mobile friendly. You know, not only is it more power efficient, but it allows for, for applications to, to figure out what the battery life is kind of like. So let me show you a cool demo here. What happens if I take the battery, if I take the AC cord out, it tells you what the battery running on, it's running on this 100% battery. So that means that if you know if the battery goes down to a significant percent, it will come pop up and tell you, hey, you know, the battery is getting really low, do something about it so that your application doesn't abruptly end.